the World Health Organization recently launched a report which shows that globally, an estimated 37 million children ages 13 to 15 use tobacco. And in many countries, the rate of e-cigarette use among adolescents exceeds that of adults. The manager of the Tobacco Control Unit of the Ministry of Health says it's evident that tobacco companies are now targeting the youth especially regarding vaping. An astounding example that um, the youths are very vulnerable and that they are the ones that actually the tobacco industry is targeting. Smoking cessation trainer Dr. Vasant Basdeo wants to send a strong message to the young population that e-cigarettes or vaping is just a well-disguised wolf in sheep's clothing. So vaping contains a lot of chemicals in it mm -hmm. um, because it's an unregulated industry. We have found things like you know, flavorants. Right. If they advertise this thing as tobacco scent, youths aren't going to go for that. Yeah. But when you say berry burst and fruit, fruity, fruit, fruity tooty or whatever they've <laughs> named it, right? It attracts the youths. But in these flavorants are things like formaldehyde, vitamin E acetate, and it's big fancy words for cancer causing agents. In addition, there is nicotine in these vaping devices. Whereas in a tobacco leaf, you could only have so much nicotine based on how the plant grows and mm -hmm. its concentration. They've now taken this thing into the lab, they've protonated it, added H plus ion to it. And what that means is it's way more potent and concentrated nicotine concentrations in these vaping devices. Dr. Basdeo says they are also seeing stronger withdrawal and addiction habits in the youth. Because it's something that you inhale, this thing goes directly into your brain, and nicotine particularly, and the effects are immediate. And within an hour or two, you're going to have withdrawal symptoms. So you find out that our population, particularly the, the, before the age of 25, they're more impulsive, they're more aggressive, they're very anxious. E-vaping cigarettes are also associated with lung injury, which hampers the ability to breathe easily, to run, to kick a ball, or even to move around easily. You can think of it as popcorn lungs. You know, popcorn, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. That's literally what's happening with your, your, your young lungs. And at such a young age, you're destroying your ability to have a good cardiovascular and respiratory function. There have also been cases where batteries from these e-cigarettes have blown up, causing injuries to the face. And Dr. Basdeo has this message for the youth. I want to tell the youths out there, look, uh, don't be the guinea pigs in this experimental phase. Don't let people profit off of your health, right? And um, take, take that same drive, that same reward seeking. That's what it's, it affects in the brain. Huh? Yeah. And, and put that towards kicking a football, running on the track, playing your pan, playing your instruments, setting yourselves goals as young people. The WHO is urging governments to protect young people from the uptake of tobacco e-cigarettes and other nicotine products by banning or tightly regulating these products. WHO recommendations include creating 100% smoke-free indoor public places, banning flavored e-cigarettes, higher taxes, and supporting youth-led education and awareness initiatives. I'm Karen Kozia-Philip with your TTT News Health Check.